spirituality is the space saurabh in which everything mm-hmm. operates you cannot have space for spirituality spirituality itself is the space in which all human activities all actions of consciousness take place hmm? spirituality is the space i'll elaborate i know i have not been very clear on this uh, you see what does one engage in any kind of activity including business activity for one engages for one's welfare right what does one want even material profits or benefits for one wants material profits or benefits for his well being right and as long as you are operating in this world as a body which we all are obviously we are dealing with the material continuously i mean even the air we breathe in is material right these sound waves that connect the two of us right now are material hmm? the laptop in front of me and the the, the gadgets uh, on your body right now they are all material stuff even without this material stuff even this so called spiritual conversation cannot take place hmm? this very body that's talking of spirituality right now is a material thing so you cannot have that kind of uh, division where you put life on one side and spirituality on the other side or you put spirituality in just one small remote corner of the domain called one's mm-hmm. life hmm? and we say um, there is this vast domain called one's life and there is that big space called personal life then there is another big space called professional life then there is a space called interests there is a space called relationships there is a space called this that and there is also a space called the spiritual mm-hmm. space it it's not that way that very model is flawed spirituality is about man's consciousness we are conscious beings we are sentient beings spirituality is about taking right decisions with respect to the material you want to you want to start a firm equally you have the option of accepting a lucrative job offer from somewhere it is a spiritual question the decision that you will take falls very much in the zone of spirituality similarly the the question of relationships do i go ahead with this what connects me to the other do i settle down do i marry do i have kids these are all essentially spiritual questions how will one live without spirituality you know if 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 the world is material sorab spirituality is the that enables you to walk down all the material roads spirituality is the light that enables you to choose rightly between one material and the other hmm? material by itself is just material don't you require light hmm? and the 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 way the sense in which i am using the word light i mean it to be immaterial or beyond material no so we need material but we also need something in which we can know clearly the reality of the material and that's what i'm calling as light no so you can have material a material b material c material d material e but what if all those materials are in front of you but in darkness spirituality is the light that will enable you to operate intelligently on material hmm? so so you require spirituality all the time in all the ways every moment hmm? right now you could either listen carefully to me or isn't it possible that you get distracted you know all of us are ridden with so many diverse uh, affairs and uh, issues similarly at this very moment it is possible for me to dedicate myself totally to this conversation with you or i could get a bit distracted spirituality is that which allows me to remain centered at the right place all the time i must know what is important at this time it's it's not a bad definition if we say spirituality is the art of knowing the important and dedicating yourself absolutely to what is important 
So you require it at all times. Business activity is not at all uh, separated or divorced or insulated from spirituality. The, the only thing here is that the way we the way we uh, usually look at uh, religion and even spirituality is that uh, these are things that deal with the with the occult with the esoteric uh, you know with something that is uh, transcendental mystical mysterious and these all words that point towards something that is not related to the material hmm? moment you say occult you mean something that is not very much um, within the usual laws of physics the moment you talk of the transcendental or the mystical again you are referring to something that is not within the usual domain of the material so so spirituality has uh, come to acquire a very hazy uh, kind of uh, shape and notion in our minds uh, we have uh, we have ostracized spirituality from our moment to moment life you know? and we have uh, limited or uh, consigned it or or just just uh, bounded it within some very um, unreasonable boundaries you know? A temple is a spiritual place for example in a temple you ought to be spiritual or you can have a spiritual place within your household or you can have a half an hour slot in the morning in which you sit down to meditate so that half an hour is a spiritual slot and what about the remaining 23 and a half hours how will you operate without spirituality in those in those in those hours i mean can you operate without light at any point in time so spirituality is that light that you need continuously i say it is like heartbeat hmm? it has to be continuous continuous quiet and central that's a that's a very interesting take uh, you know i've i've, I've sort of never thought about uh, you know spirituality i think in that sense because i think what's been fed to us all the time is you know that spirituality is a mindset right you know can businesses be spiritual right which which sort of you know makes it sounds like that it is it is an acquired state rather than something that you know we live with so if i understand you know what you've just explained and if i just paraphrase that uh, are you really saying that you know spirituality is something that we live with every moment um, and i think every decision that we take we must okay which means that not everybody lives with oh, spirituality every course. day it's like your eyesight okay no no that's obvious look at the state at the look at the state mm -hmm. of the world look at the way you know we human beings operate and suffer it is obvious that people are uh, not uh, living in a spiritual way hmm? look at the destruction we have brought about on our ecosystems and on our even on our private lives it's obvious that we are not uh, uh, living spiritually but that's something we we ought to do for our own sake not as a moral obligation not uh, as a, uh, not because of some religious injunction but but very reasonably very sensibly for our own welfare we ought to be spiritual and i think we should we should keep you know some of you know your knowledge and wisdom you know reserved you know for for you know when we meet next so thank you so much I think for coming on recast yes, yes, and and I think um, you know I I had an absolutely enjoyable time Thank you so much Sarah. Thank you so much